everyone, so today I wanted to quickly share with you guys how I kind of set up my camera for filming and also what kind of lighting I use and also how I take my blog photos because that's one of the questions that I get a lot is how I do that kind of stuff because I'm sure for those of you who are new to um, blogging or YouTube videos, you want to know um, just the best way I guess you can present your material. So I wanted to share my little secrets with you guys which I don't think are really secrets but I figured it would be really helpful for you if you're just starting off or if you want to change up the way you do things. So to start I'm going to show you the lighting that I use and first of all I want to preface and say that none of the products that I use are professional grade. So it's really just a personal preference I guess. If you want to go out and purchase like professional grade um, light stands and stuff like that it's up to you. I know they have a really great assortment on Amazon so you can definitely check that out. Or you can go out to actual stores like photography stores and I'm sure they will have something that will work for you. But it's just not for me. I don't like the big lights cluttering up my space and I also don't want to spend that kind of money for a hobby. Um, so the light bulbs that I use are actually just ones that I picked up from Walmart and they are called um, full spectrum light bulbs. Light bulbs come in a wide variety of different shapes and sizes and also different colors. They have like um, a cool tone color which is like the bright white kind of fluorescent ones and then they have like a warm one which is like that tungsten yellowy shade and this is a full spectrum so this is incredibly bright. This is much brighter than just the regular um, cool toned light bulbs. It's insane. It's almost like daylight if you have a bunch of them in a room. It's very bright and it will light up any kind of space. But I really love these light bulbs. They are a bit pricier than the regular light bulbs because individually they I think are seven or eight dollars. But if you want really nice lighting I would highly recommend these ones. Okay so to show you the light stand that I use it is this one here. Um, this is actually from Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond and it was an incredibly good deal. It was I think on sale or on clearance for $15. It came to $15 tax included so it's really fantastic. It has three bulbs and these are plastic which I'm, I don't really care for but because I just use it for the purpose of filming I don't really mind. I prefer glass ones but I'm not that picky. Um, and I really like these because they individually can turn on. So if you only want to use one of these you can just turn one on. If you want all three you can turn all three on. And like I said for these ones I have the um, the full spectrum light bulbs which look like wait for it look like this so they look just like a regular um, energy saver light bulb except they are incredibly bright and this is just a floor stand so it just stands up um, it's pretty tall and um, yeah I just really like this for filming like I will face it behind the camera or like off to the side a little bit and then I just find that it really brightens up the area around me. Well, I'll turn these on and you guys can see like how bright they are. So just turn them on individually. So if I just set it back, it really adds um, a lot of light. I was actually going to pick up two of these, but I think the one is enough because I think the combination of the three shades and the full spectrum light bulbs really mimics a lot more light than there really is in the space. So this is perfect if you're filming um, when it's cloudy or at night. Okay, so moving on to the camera that I use. So the camera that I use for filming and for my blog is a Canon T3i. It's one of the entry-level DSLRs and I really love the quality of the DSLR. It's it's really great quality. What I like about the DSLR is the interchangeable lenses and the fact that you can shoot in raw image, especially if you want to go in later and kind of Photoshop and edit your pictures, which I tend to do. I usually tend to change the shadows and highlights um, and also just the tone sometimes because the color is off for certain products. One of the things about shooting in raw image is the file size can be like 25 megabytes per picture, which is a lot. So I would also recommend a really high capacity um, SD card or memory card and I also would recommend a class 10 SD card if you use an SD card like the highest quality that you can get because it's like everyone says like garbage in garbage out. I also like the interchangeable lenses so the one I usually film with and the one that I usually take photos with is the nifty 50. I haven't really branched out into um, purchasing lenses yet because I'm not really sure 
what I'm looking for. Like I really like the depth of field. Um, I like macro lenses, but I'm actually leaning towards my next lens to be the 85 millimeter 1.8. I've seen test pictures using that lens, and I really like the depth of field and the blurred background and the bokeh. Um, I'm also thinking about picking up an L lens, which is um, kind of a big investment. I really love photography and it's something that I'm trying to get into a little bit more. It's a really fun hobby of mine. Like I'm not a really amazing photographer, but I just really enjoy taking pictures. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to dive into the L lens pool quite yet, but I am thinking about it. So if you guys are really into lenses and photography, please let me know what some of your favorite lenses are because I would really love to know. Okay, so moving on to how I take my blog pictures pictures it's a very simple I basically take um, like a bristol board a white bristol board and that's what I use as a background just to get a really nice kind of flawless background when I'm taking pictures and I also like my the product that I'm taking a picture of to be kind of the center of attention I guess the center of the focus so um, that's what I use this is basically what I use here this is actually like a styrofoam bristle board. It's like one of those really thick ones. That's why it can hold its shape fairly well. So I basically cut like a third off and then I glue gunned it so that it's like the background so that when I set my product on it, let's see if I can do an example here. So if I set the product on it, um, this is basically how the picture will come out with like a really nice seamless background and it looks like it just goes on forever. So yeah, that's basically how I take my blog photos. I will set this up in the lightest part of my room and then sometimes if it's still a little bit cloudy or dark, I will set my light stand up in front of it to even get more light and then I sh always shoot in manual mode on my DSLR because that way I can tweak a lot of different things like the aperture and the ISOs and all that stuff so I can get a really great picture so I don't have to edit it as much in post. Oh, I also wanted to mention what programs I use to edit my videos and my photos. So for videos, I like to use Final Cut Pro 10. It's just really easy, very user friendly, and it just allows me to customize my videos a little bit more than I can on iMovie. And also for my photos, I like to use Aperture and Photoshop. I usually just edit my photos in Aperture because I find that all I really need to tweak is like shadows and highlights. Um, and then if I have to do anything extra, I will export it to Photoshop and that's where I'll do more tweaks, but usually I just use Aperture. Okay, so that is my video on my lighting setup and my blog photos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the bottom bar below. If you want to see anything else around this topic, um, please also let me know. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!